cans, they're like, hi, how are you? So today we're going to jump into your beads and see what we have for you in your person. So this know that this could be a relationship or a separation, all right? So take what resonates and throw out the rest and know that this is a general, not a personal read, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. All right, so let's get in twine, Cancer, and see what the energy is for you and your person. Let's see what we have here. I hope everybody is in a positive mindset on this beautiful day. It was raining earlier and now it's pretty much sunny outside. So, ooh, we have the moon, Cancer. So we have Pisces energy here. Something is not feeling quite right. You feel like there's a lot of secrets within this situation. This is overwhelming you. I feel like you feel like this is right. Like this energy that you're picking up is like you can't avoid this. This is happening. You know, you feel like you have to like really defend yourself. Why you feel like this person is making you go a little bit crazy. Like you're asking questions like you don't feel like when you walk into a room like it's like a safe place um i just feel like you like there's this energy around you where you, you can't show who you truly are this is what i'm feeling here it's like someone is also trying to point fingers it's like the angels are wanting you to be careful with this energy as well. Make sure that you're not going to fall into any kind of depression or stress. But trust your intuition within the moon, okay? Like, look at this. It's like you're walking towards, you know, walking, doing your thing, and then there's something that comes up. You have the new begin. well fresh start here but I also feel like it's going to be a fast-paced movement happening here with this ten of pentacles you know I feel like there's going to be like this discovery of okay this is it's like I feel like this is it's like a blessing and a curse honestly this is the energy that I'm picking up a blessing and a curse because you have some good cards here and then you have some not so good cards like you're tying up this 11 11 this 10 of cups like you once you thought that this was going to be fulfilling relationship this happened very quickly and then this like burnt out for some reason it just happened very quickly and it was so good and then it like it just went the opposite way of what you thought it was going to to be but in the end of it all you still have your independence you still have your your mental health your physical health you still have you know your capability your money for those of you um i feel like you're still strong you know you still have some kind of hope and you're also like really open to the fact of meeting someone and exploring that that type of relationship whether it is you know <sighs> meeting someone that is on the same level, vibrating your same energy, and is exploring that that financial freedom together. Because I'm seeing like you are at the prime, you're at your prime right now. This is a, a feminine energy, it doesn't have to mean anything with if it's a man or a woman, it could be just, you know, either. But I'm seeing like a huge disappointment here when it comes to giving your heart away. I feel like you you attract and you don't mean to but you attract immaturity like people that are not on your level the people that are jealous too I'm seeing like a huge form of jealousy when it comes to an energy and acting like they don't know what you're talking about acting like it's in your head kind of vibe but you know better than that okay we have the queen of cups here it's like you're not sure where this is going to go either. Like you want to give your heart away, but you're just not sure because this person, you know in the moon, this doesn't feel right. So, you know, it's taking a little bit longer for you to do something about it, but you just know. So this is why you're just not giving your heart away. And I feel like you're highly disappointed in this Gemini Aquarius with deeper energy. It could be a Pisces, but I feel like with this page of swords here, 
there is no apology about this disagreement or this, you know, disappointment that this person put you through. I feel like one moment you were learning a lot of things from each other and the next moment you're just like, oh my gosh, what a huge disappointment. And I feel like a lot of you walked away and you will find very like a, a huge form of peace within this situation. <laughs> you walked away and you're like, oh my god, thank god I walked away from this. But it's like, even though you walked away, at that moment, in that moment, it was for the good of this person and for you. Um, I don't feel like this is a, a, like a complete, like, door is shut, sealed, it's never going to be open again. That's not what I'm picking up here. You have a five of pentacles in reverse, so you turn up a lot of loose ends here. Ooh, Lord, something fell. I feel like you were closing chapters. I think I saw the ten. Yep, the ten of swords. So you're dealing with a lot of healing right now. I feel like you're on the way of closing chapters and trying to deal with a lot of mental healing, and physical healing, emotionally. You're just trying to like physically and mentally like let this go. You're not 100% there yet, but you're at a place of realizing that this is something that you have to do. Okay. All right, so let's see. So the Four of Swords. <sighs> hmm. So this person, you know, not the only that they're not apologizing to you, but they want you to sacrifice all of you. And this is what's keeping you away from this person. You need some time to think about what you need to do for yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to have some kind of peace of mind for yourself. And this person is like not really doing anything to benefit you anymore. And you're just like, you know, you need some time to like back away from this relationship. I'm seeing you backing away from this relationship. They're there's way too much burnout there's way too much you know history between you and this person and you're at a place of like okay what's next i need something new to happen between me and you or i'm, I'm kind of like going crazy here but again with this nine of wands and two of swords here in the upright is letting me know this is not a permanent move you guys this is not a permanent move you're on your your way of trying to figure out what's what's your what's good for you what's good for your family for those of you who could have a contract with this person even a child and i feel like whatever you're doing it's not a complete shut the door and it could be because a lot of you have responsibilities with this person so you could have money tied up business tied up or a child a contract you guys because i feel like something like even though you're going through a lot it's like i'm getting this energy of like we still have to work things out both of us both of us still have to work things out you know so let's see what the energy is for cancer so i'm seeing aquarius gemini i'm seeing um taurus energy and also leo in the world here i'm seeing pisces like i said before um what else who else who else who else that I'm seeing here Pisces again coming up twice so this person loves to point fingers and not take responsibility this is what I'm seeing here so they might just play the ropes on you and make you feel like you are the problem or you should be more patient more understanding you know just play the men the manipulation technique here that's what I'm seeing that this person does um, so be very careful with that energy to tell me more all right, so we have I enjoy making you laugh. This card came out a lot today. I'm advanced, I'm exceptional, I'm Aquarius. So this person is saying that they're Aquarius, you know, for some of you. So let's see, tell me more. And we did get Aquarius here too, so. But they're so like cocky, I'm advanced, huh? You know, like, really? That's a lot for cancers to take in for an air sign. Okay, so, ooh, look at that. I enjoy making you cry. I enjoy making you laugh. And this person also, so this person loves having the power over your emotions. 
this is what I'm seeing here. They love making having the power over your emotions. You'll meet in Gemini soon. De missing you deeply. So a lot of you are not even with this person. They're saying they're missing you deeply. There's no communication. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. Wow, a Sag too. So you have a lot of new energies coming in. You're going to meet a Gemini or even a Sag energy. So fire and air. But I'm also feeling there's an energy around you that loves making you laugh and then they love making you cry. So let's see what this person wants to say. There's so many things that you have been gone and going through with the Ten of Swords that you're just now realizing that, yeah, you need to heal because this person, even though you're tying up loose ends, this person still has the power. Someone wants to talk to you, but they're terrified. Love me. I know you from somewhere. So they have a strong bond towards you. This is what I'm seeing. Like they feel like they know you from a past life connection. And they're like, love me. Love me. Why am I feeling like this person wants you to be around them and only them? They have problems when you're with other people. You have so many choices and options. Yeah, I feel like this person is definitely someone that's coming off that they're having like self-esteem issues. You know? Reach out. And then I have, you're wrong. Well, you are wrong. So that, again, blaming you for the situation, there is someone else, but they're coming to reach, they're going to reach out to you, but there is someone else, you guys. So for those of you who feel like there was a lot of secrets here, like this person is hiding something from you, just know that you are right. Okay. I am so, I am in so much pain. Why am I feeling like this person is being judged? Do you even care? Question mark. They want to know if you care about them. I'm getting the no card and also I have, I want a fresh start with you. I need more balance. So this person needs balance, but I'm feeling like this person is talking about they need more time with you. They feel like you're tight, you're really busy. I feel like when the angels are saying no, you guys, it's like, you need to be careful of your decisions when it comes to karmic energy. And then I have here, do you even care? Oh, do you even see me that way? Wow, so they don't even know if you're so attracted to them either. But this is what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.